are going to the RTR lab. It's exciting. Huh? We're in North Carolina, we're in Charlotte, or we're Charlotte. somewhere. Yep. And we're heading to First RTR. time in Charlotte, first time in North Carolina. And we're heading to meet Vaughan, which is... It's exciting. Which is exciting. A conversation that has been kind of going on, I think, since I left FD. We're looking at coming back again, so we're going to meet up. We're going to have a chat. We're going to see the cars in detail, and we're going to test them. Which is very, very, very exciting. So that's pretty much all the detail we have at the moment. Uh, we're going to meet Vaughn. We're going to meet the team. Um, we're going testing the car tomorrow. And I don't even know which car are we testing. Is it Chelsea's car? Is it Bowen's old car? Is it Adam's car? I have no idea. Know nothing really about it, only that we're going for a test. We're going to have a chat and we're going to see if it makes sense. But it's very exciting, uh, potentially coming back to FD again. And let's see how it all goes. This could be the start of the next chapter. Like, yeah, drifting like, has been amazing to me and has brought me so many different places and meet so many different people. And this could or may not. Let's see how it goes. This could be the next chapter, which I'm very excited about. Let's just put this in context. Nobody knows that we're here, except yeah. you, me, and my family. And everybody else and watching my team now. on our sides. And uh, we're just after leaving Drift Week a day early uh, to come here and do this. Becky is going to help recording behind the scenes. Yep. Uh, me driving the car and walking around the car and all of that. So bring you along for the ride and see what we think. Very excited. Yes. Have your banana. Can't go in here without a banana. In my head, I've been here already just from YouTube. Yeah. You know? From the T Pain video. damage or break anything in the lab. <laughs> what we did see was the new S650, the actual chassis that I may be potentially driving next year. So they'll be coming out with the brand new Mustang S650. New body kit design, totally new look Mustang. Uh, we got to see the first render of the car that I'll be driving next year. It's hard to believe what's going on but we'll take it as it comes can't wait to see you have a go up driving one of these things tomorrow and Jesus vaughan's like, place is wicked oh yeah the, i've looked up to vaughan for many years and to come here and see what he's created for himself from obviously number one being very switched on and number two from drifting to create something like this is just unbelievable and uh to be potentially joining the team is is uh, surreal and uh, can't wait to see where it brings us. So we're here at Virginia International Raceway for a very exciting day. Uh, we're here with the RTR team, about to do our very first test in the Ford Mustang. Today I'm going to be testing uh, Adam's 2022 FD chassis. 1300 horsepower on full chat with the nitrous. Pretty insane. Exciting. A uh, very unique car. Today it feels like I'm going back to school, to be honest, because I have a lot to learn. Yeah, a lot a to learn, but I think. Left hand drive, big car, a lot of power. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. New track as well. I know you, and you're just sort of like taking it all in. Like your words, are, you're just like, okay, I've got to drive the bike. I just, do, yeah, do like, stuff. I'll know so, so much, much more, more after the first set it, of tires. Yeah. I just don't know what to expect. Like, no idea what to expect. I've heard so many things, and obviously, Watch we've been doing our boards. own research, and uh, yeah, it's unreal. But we got the full team out here today. Vaughn is here, Chelsea's here, Chelsea's car. Vaughn is going to be driving that. I'm sure Chelsea will too. For now, I'm super excited, a little bit nervous, and uh, just want to drive the car, see, see, see how it all comes together, and uh, we'll take you along for the ride. That is for sure. What is this? What is this? It's a UFO. <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> Last time you were in a Mustang, probably Goodwood, when I made you get in that Mach E. Oh, did you? Yeah. So let me see if you fit. He's got small hips, and <laughs> I thought I did. <laughs> is that tight? 
That's good. Maybe the we can pull the column up, I think. Right? Can the yeah, column come back? Move in any direction. Yeah. Yeah. If we can move that off, I think the rest is. Uh, I can definitely deal with the rest. Yeah, seats all the way back for now. I mean, obviously yeah. we can make changes. Mm -hmm. You know, for later. But if you can go, well, just to I give can. You I can with definitely today. work with this if we can, for sure, um, move the column up. That's towards possible. you just or up, up in the air? So just up. Towards yeah. you as well? No, that's good. Distance is good like that. How much would you say? Um, so you can see my legs here. I would say as much as possible. Yeah, you're going to get one next to that. We'll get to there. Would you rather be, like moving forward, would you rather be further down and back? I'd rather be... Or you drive on the top, don't you? I think for sure further back and maybe a little bit down. just after blowing off the first set of tires and yeah it's pretty pretty cool really cool track here um, a lot of elevation changes and the layout we're doing is like down a straight take off in second gear shift third into fourth little flick in uh, it's onto a big angle full lock roll through it in uh, four gear all the way up through the three corners and it's it's really cool so car is very different to what I'm used to but uh, you learn a bit more every single lap, which is cool. So um, it's a lot to get used to, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, the engine is so responsive. It's, it's, 
there just instantly um, and you're just rolling through the throttle um, the steering needs a bit more feedback than what I'm used to very enjoyable first set of tires After the second set of tires, crazy day, it's hard to believe what we're doing here, but uh, driving a totally different car, which is pretty insane, like 1000 horsepower or more, totally in a, it's a lot, because so used to turbocharge and you're, you're working all the pedals, but with this you're like, you're holding, wherever you want the RPM, you're like holding the throttle pedal. Do you feel like your brain is melting a little bit? Yeah, I'm like all really... the information that's going into it. There's so much going on. Um, so like we did the first set of tires, then second set of tires, Vaughn's like, okay, let's tandem. Like after doing two laps. So doing tandem runs with Vaughn, which is cool because I'm like, what's going to happen? But the car is responding to what I'm telling it to do. So I was afraid that that wouldn't be the case. It's definitely very different. But once you tell yourself it's going to be okay and just go for it, you, you start to figure it out. Um, it hasn't bit me in the ass yet. We've managed to keep it on the track. Uh, there's a lot of things I'm adjusting to, like obviously left hand drive, it's a big car, spatial awareness, um, the gearbox, the shifter is quite, I'm sitting far back, so the shifter is quite far away. Um, so like, we're taking off in second, need to keep that in my mind. Bang third, pull forward, initiate, and then run the whole track and forward. Uh, and uh, I'm wearing Chelsea's helmet because we have no communicate comms system working with my own helmet. So the helmet's a bit too small on me. I got earbuds in, so I feel like I don't have my senses like normal. Just complaining again, aren't I? You're not complaining. It's no, it's different. just a, there's a lot. I'm mean, like I can I can't hear myself talk when I talk. Like I'm on the radio talking and I can't hear myself because it's so loud. Yeah. So it's um it's cool. It's I'm a challenge. It. Oh, it's a big challenge.
I feel like it would honestly come together for me quicker when it's right and drive in that scenario because because I'm like to to think about your timing with your right hand and the foot yeah, brake I get it. as your when left I hand. When I drive right hand drive, I feel like a freaking alien. Yeah. So like I get it. I can drift no problem left hand drive, but it's like when you need every yeah. last edge. Yeah. I feel like I have to think about what I'm doing with all of my hey, limbs. I get it. <laughs> I totally get it, bro. Yeah. And I respect how hard you are on yourself, but you're killing it. I'm having fun. Yeah, well, it looks yeah. like it. Thank you very much yeah. again. What's cool is when Enjoy you're, it, you're not happy when it's not right. That's because you're searching for it to be perfect. Yeah, I know myself when I... That's awesome. I know myself. That's, awesome. <laughs> know myself. that's the, he's, a, he's adulting is what we call that. <laughs> when you're like able to like move the that's ego aside. Like, hey, I'm not where I need to be. I need to reset. It's called yeah. being hungry. Not just too. stand up for a minute, walk around, have a piss. Yeah. <laughs> do what you need to do. So one hour left. One hour left, yeah. <laughs> So, just after wrapping up a busy day at school. A busy day. <laughs> good. Yeah. It's cool. That's good. I like that. Yeah, man. Thank you very much once again Absolutely, for the opportunity. And uh, for me, yeah, very exciting. So, we learned a lot from the very first laps to getting used to the car, getting used to all the different changes um, to what I'm used to. Firstly, never driven a car with so much power on left-hand drive. So, that's, yeah. that's quite a big... A big uh, adjustment to get used to. Yeah, I know but, I feel crazy when I'm driving right-hand drive, so I get it, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I've really enjoyed it. As soon as we started getting more comfortable, um, I think we did maybe eight sets of tires on the rear, and every single run we were doing, Yvonne was giving me advice on how to use the engine. Like, I'm so used to turbocharged, like my crazy Irish dancing throttle technique yeah. on, the, <laughs> yep. on the accelerator. So just adjusting that because the cars are more um, set up to drive with more smooth, keeping high RPM constant, uh, learning how to rotate the car differently to what I'm used to. But I feel like at the end we're getting more comfortable and uh, they're a blast to drive. Yeah, I was uh, pumped to yeah. see, you know, like the progression. Like, I mean, you jumped in the car and drove it great, but, you know, there's those fine tuning things that make great, yeah. amazing. Yeah. And I think at the end of the day, I mean, the whole team was just like, the last few tires you did were just really good, yeah. consistent, aggressive, committed, and um, you know you took every perspective uh, and implemented immediately. And um, yeah, I'm I'm very happy with what I saw. You know, we, I only get to see a couple of people drive our cars, so yeah. it was yeah. really cool to see you behind the wheel of an, an RTR and it's, given it's our relationship and how long I've watched you come up and from just a 16 year old kid to now and. It was a really cool day for me as well, and I enjoyed, you know, running tandem and yeah. watching you progress. And, um, you know, I hit up Chelsea because, you know, first of all, he surprised us coming here. Yeah. Uh, he's supposed to be on a cruise, but I asked him what he thought, and he's like, you know, I'm seeing greatness so far, and, uh, you know, I agree with that. And so that's I'm really that's amazing thrilled. to hear, and also to all the guys on the team. It's just a pleasure to deal with. Yeah. Like, it's just easy, instantly, getting to know all the guys, no stress, super comfortable. So. Yeah. We yeah, like you, you, fun, got, you got something special going on I, here and uh, it's unbelievable for me to be getting the chance to join this crazy circus. Yeah, so. no, it's, uh, it is. It's very special and I'm super grateful to have a badass team and, and you know, the opportunity to work with badasses like yourself. You know, it, yeah. just, it all comes around, right? And we just attract each other. And so, yeah, uh, yeah exciting times ahead. Thank you very much sure, again. and uh, Great work. Yeah, good times. It's a pleasure having you. Thank you very much. Yeah, so... 
crazy absolutely crazy it's hard for me to sum up because it genuinely felt like a day at school uh, just learning everything and taking the advice from Vaughan and the team about what the car is like and making some setup changes feeling the differences uh, but you know getting comfortable way more comfortable near the end uh, they're an animal of a car to drive they're so much power so much power under your right foot they're aggressive they're big angle big throttle big commitment and uh, it's just it's like nothing I've ever driven before, so that's the easiest way to describe it. I'm looking forward to getting back to the hotel, looking at the onboard footage and seeing some clips from the outside, but uh, what a day. Good times and uh, even more exciting times to come. So today is the day we've actually managed to make this dream become a reality and I'm so, so happy. It's official, we're going to be going back to Formula Drift with RTR and uh, competing in the full championship this year. So. Very exciting times. There's a lot of new information coming over the next few weeks. Brand new car, a lot of differences, a lot of changes. So some very exciting stuff coming up. And to celebrate this great news, we're launching a new t-shirt in collaboration with RTR. You can check it out. I'm wearing it here right now. It's a really cool design, RTR and 130. If you want to get your hands on one of these, there's a limited amount available. If you're in the US, check out the shop on rtrvehicles.com. Link is down here. And if you're in Europe, you can check it out on our own shop, 130.shop. So thank you very much. Uh, as I said, some very exciting things to come. Uh, delivery of the car is absolutely sick and uh, so many different things. And I'm very excited to share this crazy journey with you all. Keep watching and uh, See you on the next one. Take care.